commercial service contractors, sorry, but your tech schedules suck and you're wasting more time and leaving more money on the table than you realize. But look, don't worry. It's not your fault. You were lied to. The industry best practices for scheduling your work that have worked for decades, they're just not cutting it anymore. It's good news though. The data shows that contractors that have better schedules that prioritize the right work for the right customers at the right time make 25% more revenue per tech, grow 40% faster than their peers, and earn over 20% EBITDA. Not only that, they're just building more valuable businesses. I'm Sean Mims, and I'm here to tell you that feelings fool and data rules. And even though it might feel like you got this whole scheduling thing figured out, data shows that there are three better ways to schedule your technicians. So why is scheduling so broken? And why aren't the conventional best practices working anymore? I mean, in the face of this massive, massive 40% shortage of skilled labor, every service contractor is doing what feels like the right things. Scheduling texts for a full 40 hours per week, responding to as many of those high margin service calls as possible, and keeping that front office super, super lean to keep those costs down. These are just common sense, right? Turns out this is all completely wrong. Here's what the data shows. 40 hours a week per tech, it's not enough. Your service calls, they're not actually profitable. And you need more front office support, not less. You might think I'm off my rocker, so bear with me here. Let me explain. The best contractors aren't just scheduling 40 hours a week per tech. They also have dollars per day goals to ensure that every 40 hours is as profitable as possible. Their dispatchers can prioritize the highest dollar work because they can see the estimated revenue of every upcoming work order. And their managers can track progress with real time reporting like this, that lets them see dollars per tech or per dispatcher before the trucks even roll. Contractors that schedule using the dollars per day practice are earning 25% more revenue per tech. So let's talk about your service calls. They have great margins, right? Wrong. The problem with service calls is the hidden cost of chaos they cause with phone call rodeo. All that extra drive time, all those unhappy customers, expediting parts, the list goes on and on and on and on. And all of this crushes your bottom line. Data shows that contractors that have fewer unplanned service calls are growing 40% faster than their peers. And this is because they earn way more pull through repair work from proactive inspection and repair work. They still get all of that high margin repair work that would have otherwise come in as unplanned service calls. They just do it before it becomes a chaotic emergency that wastes a whole bunch of time and energy. The fastest growing contractors have better schedules because they have more front office support not less. It's counterintuitive, but here's why it works. Their dispatchers have more time to make great scheduling decisions that reduce tech turnaways and reduce that windshield time, which makes their techs more productive. Instead of wasting expensive technician time on things like data entry and invoicing and parts pickup, they have more administrative staff doing that work so techs can stay fast and focused. These contractors are earning north of 20% EBITDA because their techs are so much more productive, it far outweighs that, that, the extra costs that they have back in the office. Look, I know a lot of what I've talked about seems bass backwards, but the data doesn't lie. You could be leaving millions of dollars on the table because the industry best practices for scheduling aren't working anymore. 
some of your peers are building more value-built businesses by making 25% more revenue per tech, growing 40% faster than their peers, and earning over 20% EBITDA, all because they have better schedules that prioritize dollars per day and not just 40 hours per week, that prioritize proactive repairs instead of emergency service calls with hidden costs, and that prioritize investments in office staff that help techs do more real work in the field instead of wasting their time with inefficient schedules and admin work. To learn more, check out my website. It's got a lot of great resources and examples from other contractors that will help you figure all this out. Till next time, I'm Sean Mims, and remember, feelings fool and data rules.